Hey YouTube, welcome to another New Growth Chat. Today we're going to be talking about natural hair in the workplace. I'm not sure if you've seen the recent clip from Angela Green, a news anchor, in which she was talking about natural hair and having her assistant straighten her hair for a news project. If you haven't seen the video, I'm going to insert the clip right now. It's really short. It's like two minutes. Just take a look and listen to what she has to say so we can come back and discuss it. Hi guys, it's Angela Green from WNCT. An interesting question came up tonight and I wanted you guys to weigh in for the sake of helping some of our young people. Um, the topic is natural hair in the workplace. Very sensitive to a lot of people. I'm natural, as many of you may or may not know, I'm biracial, my mother's from Thailand, my father is black. Um, see my hair, straight, y'all comment about it all the time. Now if I were to go natural, my hair would be curly. But for right now, we're not going to do curly hair because my bosses like it this way, and that's what we're going to go with. But let me let you meet Madison. Hi. Madison is what year are you? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. 19. 19 years old. This is the style right now for everybody, um, rocking natural hair in the every day. Well, she's about to do a production for work, um, TV. She's in broadcasting, and the topic of her hair came up. She was told that it was what? Too big. I needed to straighten it. Straighten it out. It would be distracting mm -hmm. is the word they use. Well, distracting. That's a very interesting word. Um, but in the world of TV, we see it all. It just depends on what market, what audience you're looking for right now, and really your bosses and what they allow you to do. My advice was straighten it for the sake of the school project. Depending on what market you get in when you're older, that's something you'll have to deal with. But in the workplace, just for this one, my suggestion was to just straighten it out just to please everybody. But Everybody won't roll with that answer. What would your suggestion be to Madison and other young professionals rocking their natural hair? We want to hear from you. We look forward to it. Thanks, Madison. Bye. <laughs> so basically what she was saying was that her assistant needs to straighten her hair in order to succeed on a project for the news station or mainstream media. Now, I really appreciate Trendy Socialite. Make sure you guys are following her for or making it an issue, a uh, point of discussion within the natural hair community because wearing natural hair in the workplace is such a common um, issue or stigma for a lot of women and men in our community. Personally, myself, when I was in corporate America, I had sister locks, I colored my hair purple, I did the big chop while I was in corporate America. Yes, I was concerned about how I would be received, but at the end of the day, I knew I wanted to wear my hair that way and take it or leave it. But I will say my first interview out of college or while I was job hunting in college, I straightened my hair because I was like, I can't wear my hair in a twist out to this interview. They're going to be like, what is she wearing? And I was so uncomfortable. I don't know if you guys have been following me that long. You remember that post and my story about that, but it was just the most uncomfortable thing in the entire world. And after that, I vowed never to straighten my hair for anyone else ever again. And it worked for me because you have to remember an interview or any type of partnership is a mutual it's a mutual situation so yes they're interviewing interviewing you to see if you would fit with their company but you should also be interviewing them to make sure you fit with them as well so if you go to your interview with a straight wig and blown out hair but you normally wear your hair in a twist out or with locks how are you going to show up for your first day and every day thereafter so just be yourself is my perspective on natural hair in the workplace and if they they choose not to accept you that way, that's just not the place for you. One of my good friends and someone I really look up to, Angela Walker, says that your hair protects you from places you're not meant to be. Bottom line. But I, but I really want to get your perspective and your experience with wearing your natural hair in the workplace. If you could share in the comments if you've experienced discrimination or if you've ever felt uncomfortable about wearing your hair in the workplace, leave it below or leave a comment for our younger generation that is coming up in this era where natural hair is the standard and not the exception. So I look forward to reading your responses and hopefully it will inspire someone else within the community and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!